1,000 likes and I'm gonna sell all these Pokemon cards right here. It's not much, but maybe like $1,000 worth or something. And yeah, bro, I'm still sick if you can't tell. But hey, I hope you're all doing well. Let's talk about what the Apex Pros are wanting to remove now. You know, it never ends, right? You're never gonna get away from the Apex Pros wanting to change the game for their sake. Now, I gotta be honest with you. When it comes to this specific situation, I may agree with them. And I say may because I know the comments are gonna be torn apart and you guys are totally gonna disagree with each other. And many of you think that it doesn't need to go. Many of you think it needs to stay. I just realized I said the same thing in two different words. Regardless, I know this one's gonna be controversial, so let's have a discussion about it. And while I'm explaining it, you can like and subscribe. Thank you. So when season 14 came out, a lot of people were wanting the game to feel fresh. And now I gotta be honest with you, the game honestly has felt fresh for me personally because it's been a little bit different. They've changed small, minute things that I think have made the game feel different. For instance, they didn't just add vantage to the game. They also gave her a sniper as one of her abilities. So it's kind of like a new gun being in the game, which also creates for a new meta. We've obviously seen some new buffs and nerfs to guns and legends and whatever and arc stars and grenades whatever and so that kind of makes the game feel a little fresh too but there's another change that they made that a lot of people thought was small on paper but honestly when you get into the game you feel this thing very heavily and a lot of people have been torn since the season came out as to whether or not this needs to be in the game a lot of pros are saying look this thing is great it causes you to play the way the game needs to be played and then a lot of other people are saying look this thing is way too op we need to get rid of it this is not supposed to be in the game and people are just torn apart about it now when the season first came out i've seen a lot of people say basically like you know anybody that complains about it is just bad at the game and this is your fault you need to adjust and i've seen a lot of people actually change their minds on this that being obviously the changes that were made to the ring so this is what zach mazer had to say which is a pro player for cloud nine he says every tournament i've played in recently i realize how easy it is to make a change that seems so small in the time but changes the entire game this zone is absolutely god awful for competitive and the scrim environment is even worse due to the edge play style just disappearing most of you should understand what he's saying but if you're having a hard time understanding what he's talking about basically in the pro scene a lot of the pro players like to play on the edge of the ring because there's just so many teams in the late game you got like 14 teams left in like round four so it gets absolutely hectic it gets ridiculously crazy the rotations are really hard sometimes because there's not much option for you to go anywhere like every building is taken every rock is taken i mean you have very very slim chances of getting a good spot and so because of that when the next zone happens a lot of teams are left out of the ring therefore they got to approach the edge of the ring because there's no way in the world you're going to get in the center of the ring the problem is when this zone change happened and basically it takes more damage in round one now i think round two it takes more as well it also closes a whole lot faster now so there's a little bit less time to get kitted and to get all your meds get all your weapons get all your shields and stuff and basically you just got to rotate a little bit sooner obviously when this first came out most of the people were saying you look if you're complaining about this it's your fault you need to adjust blah 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 but i think there's another argument that needs to be discussed now i'm not saying that this is necessarily right but i think i'm understanding both sides here Jack followed up his tweet saying because the zone hits quite hard with the speed that it moves at and you don't have time to loot your poi let alone get anything else done which is exactly what i just said be honest with you i did not even see that tweet while i was saying all of that it just popped up so uh, maybe i should be a dev so firstly i don't really remember or even know why they actually made this change the only thing i could really think of is i remember constantly telling people that when i was watching the algs i would get so distracted at the beginning of the game because there's nothing that goes on it's so boring to watch at the beginning of an algs game because all 20 teams are most likely going to stay alive for the first like five minutes of the game and then people start dying later so honestly sometimes i would just go play the game while it's running in the background and i can understand why there's not much going on at the beginning maybe respawn noticed this and they were like okay we got to speed things up quite a bit because it's just way too mundane and boring at the start of the games but honestly i have a hard time believing that that's the case because i know respawn wants to keep this game completely as fair as possible considering that it is a battle royale and there is a lot of rng involved the goal here is really to get everybody at the loadout that they want the loadout they're most comfortable with they kit it up as much as possible that way it never comes to a situation where it's like oh that team beat that team simply because they had better loot and i gotta say as boring as a lot of the beginning of the algs games were sometimes i think honestly a lot of the fights that were taking place were pretty fair because people had plenty of time to loot an entire poi and get fully kitted things are definitely a little different now when it comes to these new ring changes so do people in general and specifically pros i guess not like this new ring change specifically because it has changed the way that the pro scene has been played so drastically and they don't like that because ALGS honestly has always pretty much been the edge play style for the ring and although I do like some of the arguments when it comes to the ring changes being good I feel like when it comes to the higher ranks it can be unfair sometimes because players don't have a chance by even playing that edge play style anymore so they're forced to make a move that's less favorable for them therefore getting called out based off the luck of the draw or wherever the zone went I know obviously pro players can read the zones pretty well but it's not always guaranteed and like Zach also said here a lot of the times what used to be considered a small decision to make that you could probably recover from 
from in this ring is not that case at all sometimes you make a small mistake and it just kills your entire game there's no way to come back from it so i don't know it's tough you got to take it with a grain of salt here too because a lot of the pro players would get on social media and rant and rave about things that they want changed every single day but maybe this time they're actually onto something last time we spoke about this on the channel you guys were at each other's throat in the comment section just completely disagreeing so now that the pros are actually talking about it it's very likely that one of the devs will actually see this maybe they'll actually take this into consideration and actually think about removing it is that something you would actually be down for or do you think the pros are just continuously crying and just wanting their way honestly i think the best response to all of this is what nicewig said in response to lucky chappie's viral video when it comes to you know casual players versus pro players and that is the fact that honestly we're all playing completely different games i mean the higher ranked games are like an entirely different meta an entirely different play style and the lower ranked games are completely different as well i think the game could honestly be a little healthier if there were certain situations about the game at one rank and then other situations about the game at other ranks obviously you can't make it like that because it wouldn't be consistent but i think like nice week said there's just too much different going on in both of these scenes right here between the casual and the pro players and there's a bridge that needs to be gapped and until that bridge is gapped we're always going to be at each other's throat always going to be saying that the pros are just crybabies they don't know what they're talking about and that the casual players they don't know what they're talking about either I'm definitely not a pro player in the slightest and i normally lean towards the casual community but i have played in somewhat of a competitive environment for season one of two of apex legends with some very high names that you guys know and love today so i understand a lot about competitive and i understand why they complain the way they do sometimes very interested to hear whether or not you guys actually want this ring stuff removed you know the whole pro player thing is a double-edged sword sometimes because obviously there's a lot of things that they complain about that they want removed that we don't agree with as casual players and sometimes it kind of hurts because when you hear all of these voices and you see them you know just absolutely loving their favorite content creator and liking all of their posts and retweeting all of their stuff of course you're worried that respawn's going to listen to them and it gets very frustrating however there are a lot of times where there's bad things in the game that really we want to speak about but we can't and i've seen imperial how himself tweet a lot of stuff that has actually helped us because when the devs would not listen to your average joes like us big names like imperial how are speaking out on twitter about things that needed to be done in the game and finally it got the attention of respawn so sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad i'm very interested to see what you guys have to say though also wanted to mention this as many of you know if you've seen my previous videos i've been in discussion with a few apex legends developers regarding some things in apex and we've been getting a few responses about some of the things that are in the game so i've been trying to ask a lot of questions on the twitter timeline to see if they'll keep giving us answers and one of those things that i said today is that rank rewards really need to be buffed you can only care about a repetitive badge in a temporary trail so much many people seem to agree with this and there is leaked files showing that there will be like some kind of a skinned hcog site now this is actually something i think we saw in the leaked files back in like season one or two so just so it came back doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually coming because oz actually let us know this on twitter that this mozambique skin right here was actually added but it didn't get added until 959 days after it was found in the files so i've been seeing people freak out about the flatline recolor i've been seeing people freak out about you know this new skins for rank rewards and stuff those aren't necessarily guaranteed and just because they've been added to the files mean absolutely nothing sometimes it gives a little bit of an indication of where things might go but it's not always that way so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and don't forget that if we hit a thousand likes i'll be selling these pokemon cards honestly i'm ready to get rid of them it's not necessarily like a dare of like i dare you to like i really want to get rid of them so please support me in my decision also i'll be grinding rank tonight on apex if you guys want to watch the stream tonight at about 9 p.m eastern i'll see you all in the next one take care of yourselves this is vibrant eye only positivity and until next time later gators Thank you.